Nick Ramsey is a British politician who was a member of the Senate between 2007 and 2021. He formerly represented the constituency of Monmouth. He was Shadow Minister of Finance under Conservative leader in the Senate, Paul Davis MS, but lost the position in January 2021 under the new leadership of Andrew R.T. Davis. Ramsey sat as an independent member before seeking re-election as an independent in the 2021 Senate election. Nicholas Ramsey was born in 1975 and is originally from Cumbron. He was educated at Creasy Kaliog Comprehensive School and Durham University where he graduated in English and Philosophy. He later gained a postgraduate diploma in Applied Linguistics from Cardiff University. Between 1999 and 2001 he worked as a driving instructor in Monmouthshire in the Valleys. Ramsey contested the Labour stronghold of Torfan at the 2003 Assembly and 2005 general elections and has served as a Monmouthshire County Councillor for the Ward of Marty, which had previously been in Labour hands for over 20 years. Ramsey succeeded David Davis as an Assembly member for Monmouth, and was appointed Shadow Minister for Local Government in the Third Assembly term. Nick stood for leadership of the Conservative group in the summer of 2011 and joined the Conservative Shadow Cabinet as Shadow Minister for Business, Enterprise, Technology and Science as well as chairing the Business and Enterprise Committee. After Nick Bourne lost his seat in May 2011, Nick Ramsey stood for leadership of the Welsh Conservative Senate Group against South Wales Central AM, Andrew R. T. Davis. Davis was elected leader with 53.1% of the membership vote. Ramsey joined the Shadow Cabinet under Conservative leader, Paul Davis MS, in the position of Shadow Minister of Finance and to chair the Public Accounts Committee. In January 2021 Andrew R. T. Davis was named as the new leader of the Welsh Conservatives in the Senate and sacked Mr. Ramsey as finance spokesperson. On January 2, 2020 it was reported that Ramsey had been suspended from the Welsh Conservative Party and his parliamentary group following what was described as a police incident at his home the previous evening. He was held in police custody for 24 hours before being released without charge, but continued to be suspended from the party pending an investigation. On 13 February, Ramsey confirmed that he had been reinstated to the Welsh Conservative Party group in the Senate and had dropped his legal challenge against the decision by group leader Paul Davis to suspend him. Following a period of nearly seven months Ramsey was reinstated to the Conservative Party in July 2020 no further comment was made by the police or the Conservative Party. Ramsey left the Conservative Party in March 2020 and sat as an independent member. In 2019 Ramsey had been adopted by the Monmouth Conservative Association as its chosen candidate for the elections to the Senate but was deselected in December 2020. He stood as an independent candidate and lost to the preferred Conservative candidate, Peter Fox. In 2008 Ramsey spent much of his time on the Special Assembly Procedure Committee, and in particular the S025, which reconsidered the controversial robeston Wathen bypass proposed by the Welsh Assembly Government. These types of orders and challenges are rare occurrences. The last one which was heard in Parliament was in 1999. In 2011, while a contender for the leadership of the Welsh Conservatives, Ramsey had to apologise after being barred from a pub following a charity pub quiz in aid of help for heroes. The landlord is quoted as saying that he resigned his membership of the party over the issue as Nick Ramsey heckled the quizmaster repeatedly, telling him that his questions were rubbish. He challenged the quizmaster, a local antiques dealer, to bid £100 for a rugby jersey in an auction we held on the same evening for the charity. He was quite rude and objectionable and his comments didn't go down well, I think he'd had a few beers. In 2012, Ramsey was criticised for missing a committee session, after an evening's drinking in Cardiff at a leaving party for a Labour member of staff at a Cardiff Bay pub before heading into town at closing time for a late city centre bar. He failed to notify the clerk that he was ill until two hours after the meeting was due to start. When an email was received by the clerk from a member of Mr. Ramsey's staff to say he had been taken ill during the night. Ramsey was not in the assembly chamber for the majority of the afternoon session, but arrived at 5.25 p.m. to vote on a Liberal Democrat motion of no confidence in Health Minister Leslie Griffiths. In 2014, Ramsey was accused of having been drunk during a debate in the assembly. The Assembly's presiding officer had to launch an investigation after she received a complaint alleging that a Tory AM appeared drunk and made slurred. Incoherent and insolent contributions to a debate on mental health in the Senate, but he denies being drunk. Ramsey, who also celebrated his birthday that day, had intervened twice during a speech by Health Minister Professor Mark Drakford AM, who at one point told him he would pursue the matters raised directly with him outside the confines of the debate. An online clip demonstrated the awkwardness of the debate. 
presiding officer, Dame Rosemary Butler, did not support the claim and no further action was taken. In 2020, Ramsey was accused of involvement in a further alcohol-related incident when he was seen drinking alcohol on Senate premises during a period when this was not legal due to coronavirus public health measures Ramsey criticized the proposed £10.000 pay rise for Assembly members prior to the 2016 election and stated that he would donate his pay rise to charity. The Western Mail reported in 2019 that Ramsey had not responded to questions that asked which charity his pay raise had been donated to. The editor of the Monmouthshire Beacon stated that, at a meeting with Ramsey in 2018, Ramsey said he did not wish to make a public announcement at this stage because of the nature of the charity and that the money is tied with an ongoing charitable project which will be announced later in the year. As of March 2019, no announcement had been made. Mr. Ramsey has brought legal action against the Conservative Party on two occasions. The first was against Paul Davis, leader of the Conservative group in the Senate when Mr. Davis had suspended him from the group. After he was arrested following a police incident at his home on New Year's Day 2020 and held in police custody for 24 hours. Eight members of the 11-strong assembly group had supported the suspension. On 13 February, Ramsey confirmed that he had been reinstated to the Welsh Conservative Party group in the Senate and had dropped his legal challenge against the decision by group leader Paul Davis to suspend him. Paul Davis was ordered to pay legal costs plus nominal damages fee of £2 to Mr. Ramsey, according to a High Court order. Mr. Ramsey remained suspended from the Conservative Party. Further legal action followed Monmouth Conservative Association arranging to meet on 23 November to discuss a petition that called for Nick Ramsey's selection as a candidate to be discussed again. Mr. Ramsey and his lawyers claimed the move was unconstitutional and warned party members could face legal costs and damages. The party argued that the association believes it is acting within party rules as per their constitution. Lawyers representing Mr. Ramsey prepared for an injunction hearing without further notice in the High Court and stated that association. Members are jointly and severally liable as individuals for any damage caused to our client in addition to paying his legal costs. The chairman of the association stated that the association has never sought any form of confrontation with Nick Ramsey and any legal action brought is entirely of his doing. We have been advised by lawyers and conservative head office that we have acted entirely within our rules and rights at all times. Mr. Ramsey attempted to withdraw his legal challenge at the last minute which meant the high court hearing went ahead. The judge ordered Mr. Ramsey to pay £25,000 in cost to Monmouth Conservative Association. At the virtual hearing at Bristol Civil Justice Centre, Mr. Ramsey's injunction application was withdrawn, and a judge said if the application to injunct had been made it would have failed. Judge Paul Matthews said Mr. Ramsey has 28 days to make the cost payment to the successful party and no permission was granted for appeal. Members of Monmouth Conservative Association then took the next step in a process that led to the deselection of Ramsey, citing that members were dissatisfied with him. Because of his previous legal threats many were not prepared to engage with him. His decision to go to court was quite extraordinary, and was never going to result in a good outcome. The association has been forced to spend many thousands of pounds defending itself and its constitution, and it is now Mr. Ramsey's obligation to pay the bulk of our legal costs. In December 2020, Conservative Party members in Monmouth told Ramsey that they did not want him to be their candidate for the May 2021 election. He lost a vote of the Constituencies Party Association and the party planned to throw open a candidate selection process. Thanks for watching.